<laughs> I think Paul is doing the tongue thing. Oh. Alrighty. So, they're starting out the set, and I would say... Is favorite this? for this is my case, but I watched him play quite a bit, and it was really close. Like, I think favorite for this might be my case, just because he's such a known player, but I think, honestly, it could go either way. Is this winner semis? Mm, yes. I think winner plays Iceman versus Bladewise. Okay. So I think... Is it just two out of three. Does that sound right? That would mean that Steven was seated below Shane. Interesting. Maybe because of drop zone. Uh, three out of five. All right. The last set's even three out of five. Ooh. And Steven starting out with a strong first stop. That shine back air is really quick. Didn't hit the shine back air, but the shine the lead into the back air. Yeah. That was good. nice. I like shine's also just a utility way to tool, turn around. So, yeah. All right. What is? Um, in this matchup, it's really weird. The punish games are so strong, but you have so many options. It's a really interesting kind of thing. So <laughs> yeah, you just mess yourself up by thinking, which option should I choose this time? Well, I think most people actually have a plan for it. They like go in. So people have certain play styles. So people, some people approach the fox dodo and they're really trying to zone the other person out and like back air and that kind of stuff, and then punish really systematically. I see. Some people always try to combo them up. Like Nickabot always combos up. Oh, that was you know, nice. Just for like the uppers and stuff. And then uh, some other people like lots of like in your face, like battles, lots of jabs and stuff. And then some people mix those elements. Like, so, how would you say that more. these two are playing? Uh, I think Steven's really zoning oriented. Like, he'll try to zone people out, and then he tries to get really precise openings that are safe and powerful that lead into good things. So, he's, he, like, I feel like. He's the kind of guy that, at high percent, he doesn't want to just go in with the raw thumb. He wants to do, like, safe, get the up throw, up air. He wants to... Was that a I think that's really option? Uh, yeah, it looked like it. That was I pretty nice, I think. couldn't tell if his shield stopped. So, no, since I've stopped playing Yoshi as much, or started playing more characters, I've been trying to implement shield stops. They're so good. They are so Especially good. Especially for characters with a back air better than the air air. But, uh, that was... So far, very convincing for Steven. He's, his playstyle is uh, working out well. He's getting the combos when he needs them. And I feel like that's a huge thing. Uh, well, this is... Oh. That was close. I, I, I'm kind of happy that... Oh, God. Wow. <laughs> uh, that was a huge turn. So, my case was just really greedy going for that shine. And that's punishment with his life. He was down a full stock, so he yeah, yeah. kind of had to try something. He had to try something. I feel like you can still, a lot of people, like, I feel like Steven's not the kind of guy that do that either. I feel like if Steven's down a full stock and he's in that combo, he'll still try to get the consistent back air with throws. That's or fair, he's been yeah. practicing that Armada kind of shine a lot lately, where you wait, wait for the fire to go away. drop on the fire, yeah. Or the fire hitbox that goes away after a while. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, they're on the fire, and then you just time it or space it or what. I feel like part of it's the spacing too, but I don't know. I can't do it. I'm bad. But uh, this is a slight reversal right now. It's really it's Fox Ditto. It's not much of a lead, but this is uh, my case's favor. I actually do think I remember these two talking about it, and I think Steven said he doesn't like it as much, and my case does. And Steven's reasoning was because the punish game is so strong where either character can easily get a zero death that mm -hmm. he thinks it's too volatile. Oh, Which yeah. I think makes sense with Steven's playstyle, because I feel like compared to Foxes of similar skill level, he might not punish as hard. I'm not trying to say that like an insult, but he's much more consistent in neutral. Yeah. When he, he'll consistently get punishes. So sometimes people go for like really hard punishes and like make or break kind of ordeals. And that's so kind of like what FD forces, you mean? Like No, that's what I think... Uh, FD makes that better, but I don't think it forces it. You can still go for consistent options. Oh, like see right there, off that jab, we could have gone something easy and safe like the back air, but he went for a grab, which then converted to the up throw up air, which is really good. That's what my case did. Or I feel like that's not something Steven would really be 
prone to it. He would rather systematically get the win, like how he knows how to do it well. Which works well for him, but I think that comes into play why this stage might be worse for Steven. Oh, and, and he gets Pichu pushed. Pichu pushed, drops on there. Classic. <laughs> Alright, well, it's 1 1, and this is a uh, first to three, best out of five. So, do you think it'll go Pokemon? Uh, yeah, that's an interesting choice. I mean, it's still an even matchup, but, you know, this is all player preference. So, I think it's really interesting seeing what stages people pick in Ditto's. Mm. That punish. Wow. wow. Oh. Good Smash G on the last hit. That was a disgusting punish. Jesus. I think. When you get punished that hard, and you smash DI the up air, it just causes you to be like, oh shit, I live from that, and then it makes you more prone to like having a predictable response on landing. So I just got grabbed again into the up smash. Real good players actually are able to have something go down and then drop it. Wow, that's it. Mike Hayes is punishing super well. That that was a really consistent and hard to pull off. Like I don't think any of those back airs were like, amazing so much as. Getting all of them is amazing. Yeah, to the be whole that sequence. Yeah. And then you just slowly, each successive hit, box went a little lower, and then finally you just get shine. And he got the perfect fade and shine. And now he's just disrespecting with side B is neutral. I've heard some players theorize about how it's a good mix up to keep them on their toes, because it's threatening at a longer range than most of your other options. But I don't, uh. I don't think it's necessary or good. Silent Wolf was actually talking about how he thinks more people should do it. I believe. I think he said that to me uh, in person, though, so I can't prove it. Could be trolling. I don't know. I'm bad at Fox. <laughs> this is Jeez. not okay. I don't even think Steven wanted to try it at that point. So, I think it's important here for Steven to just shake that off and go for game four. I mean, he's still got one game. I like the switch up because I mean this it's just even. So just needs to focus on this game. It looks like Mike Hayes is doing really well when the platforms don't get in his way. So I, I think this is a better pick than than Pokemon in this situation. And that's another thing about Ditto's, especially with such hard punish games. It's really hard to tell. Just how do you like? I, I especially like. What do I, what's my good anti Yoshi save? Like, how would I? Man, this is terrible. Alright, this is a... Uh, so, good start for Petko. He's got a little bit of a lead. He's not he's getting injured right now, but... So do you think Steven's figuring it out as he goes, where all of a sudden he thinks he's getting better results because uh platforms? Do you think something like that, where Steven's going to be adapting as he goes and figuring out I think matchup? It, yeah, I think he's adapting a little bit. I think it has a lot to do with the stage setup, because Mike Hayes just kind of controlled the pace of the match when they like on FD when he could just get those super hard punishes like you were talking about and and Pokemon's he's kind of a, a similar lot of thing. Where he's getting, he's choosing to send Steven up. Yeah. Which and Steven's starting to do something. Oh, I think wow. maybe the double shine, the extra hit lag messed with his timing. That was pretty, pretty weird. That was unfortunate. Yeah. Maybe Steven was trying to really quickly punish it. Like that's when he put ledge cancel. It's a weird situation. I'm not sure what happened. The double jab. Nice. Jeez. He's doing so well at comboing up, moving around the platforms. What? A uh, solid way to close out, an easy punish for that stock. And now it's uh, close uh. again. Steven just needs one good combo, he's back in it, and then it's tied up. Uh, not the best DI on that back here. That's, that's fine, uh, Steven can still pull this off for sure. Yeah. Oh, in my case, misses that edge cancel, but. I think Mike Hayes missing the ledge cancel, you can interpret that as a way of saying, you know, you think Mike Hayes isn't playing fully, uh, like, he's not in the oh. zone. Steven still has momentum in this. Yeah. I he's feel like if oh. he was fully in control of this match, he wouldn't be missing stuff like that, you know? Yeah, for but sure. There's still a lot of back and forth. And Steven is kill percent right now. Oh, that Smash DS saved Mike's life, but he's still in a bad spot. Oh, hey, so Steven he, he's brought it back. that uh, SD right there. Now. Steven... Steven needs to take this stock to stay in winners, but he's. I feel like Steven's definitely got the momentum right now. Yeah. So sad. Oh, that was nice. It's all since that ledge, that missed ledge cancel. Mike has lost control of the match. He choked it. <laughs> oh, oh, that was nice. That was really good. Oh, but the good. It's a good angle where it made it ambiguous where Steven was going. 
Oh. Oh, he's living. Oh, nice smash, smash DI. DI. And then... Hmm. He could survive. Yeah. Oh, PC Chris from oh. the games. Oh, he's living? Uh, oh, the slow get, get up, up though. They're still close games. Few games. All right, so that means Mike Hayes will be sent to winners, finals, and he'll be playing the winner of Iceman versus Bladewise. Ooh. Connor. <laughs> Connor. Me and Alan are here. When do we play our losers up. matches? We're not in a hurry or anything. We're just letting you know we'll be here. Jesus. Adam I mean, we're not in a hurry. I'm just letting you know we'll be here and tell you this. Okay? I'm in a hurry. Alan's in a hurry. He has very important uh, things to do. Jordova and Balloon can play. Jordova and Balloon, I would actually think. Ooh. I'd... Yeah, it should be pretty good. Bart! All right, so let's uh, let's talk about this bracket a little bit. So we had the pools feed into it and interrupted by the crew. So I wonder, do you think that'll impact anybody? Anybody who's particularly uh, um, in need of warming up? You think it nerfs Fox breaking halfway into the? Uh, maybe a little bit. I mean, every player in top 16 was in the crew battle. That's true. What about people who just were destroyed, like the homie crew battle? <laughs> no. Like, I don't think they didn't get any practice at all. They just got comboed. <laughs> uh, they practiced their DI in defensive game. That's true. That's true. Uh, I think Rat King got to practice some DI, getting uh, one whole stuck. And uh, Ben, did Ben get two stocks or one stock? I can't even remember. No, Ben got more. Oh, Ben yeah, did well, like actually. Four, right? Four or five. Who's the other person that got like one? Oh, it was, <laughs> it was Bart. Bart oh. and Rat King. Dude, Bart got fucked up by eBay. He got <laughs> fucked up. eBay is too. Good. I got I don't fucked up by eBay. eBay. I'm just gonna take a moment to be happy that I don't have to play eBay right now.